Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are almost done with Othello. We've got like three more monologues from Othello and then we're done. So today we get to hear from Othello in Act 5, Scene 2, which is the last scene of the play, but some stuff to cover first. Um, Cassio and Rodrigo fought. Cassio was wounded. Iago ended up killing Rodrigo. Iago is trying to pin Rodrigo's death on Bianca. Um, Cassio has been wounded, he's been taken off, but he's being attended to. Othello thought that Cassio yelling during that little skirmish was Cassio being murdered by Iago, because Iago said that he was going to murder Cassio for him. So he has now gone to kill Desdemona, um, because he just can't take it anymore and he needs to be done with all of this. So he's like, Iago kept up with his side of the bargain or his side of the plan, so now I have to go kill Desdemona. And yesterday we started off Act 5, Scene 2 with Othello um, talking talking to himself, but talking himself into killing Desdemona because she's asleep in their bed um, where he's gonna, he's planning on smothering her. Um, but he sees her there and she's she's beautiful and he doesn't want to do it and he's still unsure as to whether or not she's actually unfaithful but he's he's talking himself back into it and he's like no I have to do this I have to ha do this I have to do this but he he wants to give a, like a couple little last goodbye kisses and his kissing wakes her up so of course she and Othello talk and he says that he's gonna kill her and he goes through the whole Iago told me all the stuff about Cassio and about your handkerchief and all of that and and she's pleading for her life and she's like just banish me don't kill me and all of this sort of stuff she's like bring in Cassio he can tell you that that we were never together and he says you know Cassio has been killed so haha -ha. and she starts to cry because Cassio was her friend even though they weren't like together she starts to cry which Othello takes as even more proof that they were actually together. So he gets so enraged, he smothers her with a pillow while she's begging for her life. And she's like, I just need to say a quick prayer. But he smothers her with the pillow. And Amelia is like right outside the door. So she starts shouting and banging on the door. And she doesn't know what's going on. And Othello is like, he's kind of in a delirium at this point because he just killed his wife. And he's like, oh, that's, that's Amelia out there. She's going to come in and she's going to talk to my wife. Oh, I don't have a wife anymore, sort of a thing is is sort of where he is. But he finally he finally lets her in, um, and she comes running in to let him know that Rodrigo has been killed, not Cassio. And Othello's like, oh, crap. And Amelia goes to talk to Desdemona, who is not quite dead yet, but she's just close enough to death that she says, you know, my death is not anybody's fault except for my own. I did it myself. And she dies. So now Amelia and Othello start to have a chat, but he's not necessarily in the best state of mind. And he confesses that he killed her and he starts sharing all of the things, all of his reasons for killing her, all the things that Iago said. And he's like, Iago told me this and Iago and, and Amelia's like, wait, my husband, my husband, my husband told you these things, which is just gorgeous writing, in my opinion. It just, it really makes me happy. And as Othello is listing off all of these things that, um, that are his reasons for why he killed Desdemona, um, she just starts shooting him down one after the other. She's like, nope, she was chased. And nope, I can explain the handkerchief. And nope, I can explain all this. And Othello starts feeling just worse and worse and worse. And he starts regretting even more so the fact that he just killed his wife, who he was totally in love with. And Amelia is getting furious with Iago for having done this because now it's like Iago killed Desdemona. She, he, she knows, she suspected already that somebody had orchestrated all of this stuff to make Othello so angry and jealous. And now she knows that it's her own husband. And she's like, oh my goodness. So then Montano and Graciano and Iago and some other people come in and Amelia just instantly goes on the attack and she starts ripping into Iago and and trying to get him to own up to what he did and she's like did you say this to him and did you say this to him and all that sort of thing and he's like you know shut up shut up shut up and she's like I will not shut up right now and a fellow is he just can't take it anymore he falls on the bed partially in mourning partially like fainting whatever whatever 
And Graciano is like, uh, well, given what a mess this is, it's probably better that her father, Brabantio, is dead. He died because he was so upset about her getting married in the first place. But, like, thank goodness he doesn't have to see her now like this. Um, so Othello is... is mourning her and Iago's trying to get Amelia to shut up so it, and he he pulls out his sword to threaten Amelia and Graciano is like what are you doing pulling your sword against a woman and Amelia finishes telling Othello like all the last little bits of how he was set up so Othello charges at Iago but Montano disarms him Iago stabs Amelia goes to kill like actually kills Amelia and Amelia's like, oh, put me, put me by Desdemona before I die. He said, put me on the bed. Iago runs off in all this confusion, and Graciano and Montana run after him. And as Amelia is dying on the bed, she says one last time that Desdemona was completely faithful, and Othello made a horrible mistake in doing this. So now Othello starts searching the room to find another weapon, because he doesn't have his sword anymore. And Graciano comes back in and finds Othello with another sword, and is like, um... What you got there? And Othello says, behold, I have a weapon. A better never did itself sustain upon a soldier's thigh. I have seen the day that with this little arm and this good sword, I have made my way through more impediments than 20 times your stop. But, oh, vain boast, who can control his fate? Tis not so now. <laughs> Be not afraid, though you do see me weaponed. Here is my journey's end. Here is my butt and very sea mark of my utmost sail. Do you, do you go back dismayed? Tis a lost fear. Man but a rush against Othello's breast and he retires. Where should Othello go now? How dost thou look now? Oh, ill-starred wench pale as thy smock. When we shall meet at Compt, this look of thine will hurl my soul from heaven, and fiends will snatch at it. Cold. Cold, my girl. Even thy chastity. O oh, cursed, cursed slave, whip me, ye devils! From the possession of this heavenly sight, blow me about in winds, roast me in sulfur, wash me in steep down gulfs of liquid fire. Oh, Desdemon, dead Desdemon, dead. Oh, oh. And then Lodovigo and Montano come in with Cassio, who's like in his chair. It just keeps saying like Cassio in a chair, which I presume is like Cassio in a wheelchair kind of a thing because he was cut in the leg, so he's having problems walking right now. And they have captured Iago. They, they've captured him and, and he's guarded because there's, there's a little bit more that we need to get to before, before this play is over. But speaking to Othello's monologue, um, he's... He now wants to kill himself, is what it boils down to. He, he feels so guilty about all of this. He's found another sword, and he, he plans to, to rush on it. You know, one of those things, maybe like, you hold the sword, and I'll come running at it, and I'll, I will have killed myself. You don't have to worry about it. Um, and he's, Graciano is, is afraid of this, because Othello, granted, has been a little bit off his rocker for a little while now. But he's like, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. I don't want to hurt you. I'm intending to kill me because where else do I go? What else do I do? And then he takes a look at Desdemona and really regrets what he did. Feels, he just really gre regrets what he did. He killed the love of his life. So now he feels like he needs to burn burn in hell <laughs> is basically how he ends it is is you know I, I need to go burn in hell is where his mind is at the end of it so anyway this has been a really long one because there's a lot that happened right before that that monologue and we wanted to make sure to get all of it in so we're gonna get into what happens with Lodovigo and Montano and Cassio and Iago coming back into the space um tomorrow when we continue on with this scene, because there's a few more things that we need to wrap up before we wrap up Othello. So I will see you tomorrow for that. Mwah.